Okay, welcome back to another video of my Dreamcast graphics engine, and this is the first one since around August, since I last uploaded the video, and other than the clip uh, that Mark filmed when I got to show this off at Play Expo, I haven't uploaded anything, so what have I been doing since now and then? You'll probably notice this room, you'll see these walls. I can now attach a mesh to each of these walls, so at the moment I, I've not really enabled this very much in the editor, so they're all the same mesh, but you can see that it makes them a little bit more three-dimensional, you can see that probably from there. And yeah, so I want to enhance on that. So the other things that I've done are really to do with the lighting. So if we go into here, switch the light on. So I've made this really quite a rubbish flashlight and the reason for that is just so it makes it a bit more spooky. Um, See, so off is completely black. So if we go into here, you'll see a light and if I turn my light off, this is really the biggest difference. Before I could only support one dynamic light but it's now completely arbitrary. I can support as many as I want. It's more of how close you are to them. But you'll see that this is completely dynamically lighting the the geometry. That red smoke's still there. I really would like that to light it itself but it's a bit too CPU intensive. And the sparky things there as well. So if I follow this guy around you'll see it's these, well I say they're driven by AI, it's a bit rubbish AI but the, the idea is these blocks uh, move around uh, and the detail is a lot higher than the previous video so this was just lighting these big blocks that are 8x8 eight eight, um, tiles I've changed that with this so that it works out even if you've you've got some geometry which is 8x8 eight eight, with the lighting it has to light each individual tile rather than just one at a time so what it does is it calculates the distance between you and the light and anything more than a certain distance it just draws it in a crude way and any blocks that have not been lit uh, by the light are drawn in a crude way as well so if we just wait for this guy to move out of the way so you'll see these all cast a light of about I think it's 180 degrees each so it's fairly wide and they just wander around. But if I walk over here, now this is not quite perfect. There's a few dodgy optimizations that I had to make. But you'll see here this light block here, this well, bovine texture, is emitting light. So I've had a few questions saying, well, why do the lights look like that? The, the light and the block have got nothing to do with each other. I just put a block there at the same position where the light is, so the lights are invisible. Um, but you'll see this block going round, and the block will block light. So it means that the light is obscured by not just the geometry, but also um, actors in the world. So it could be a barrel, it could be the player, and there's a little bit of dodginess and a little bit of flickering going on, it's just to optimise it. But this is running at 60 frames a second, so it's running pretty quick. And if I put the light bloom on, you'll probably notice it's slowing down a bit. But yeah, so you've got still got the four different strengths of light bloom. And it's more, ooh, a bit of a glitch there. The problem is when you draw um, transparent textures or yeah, like a, a transparent polygon that covers the screen. If you draw more than about four or five, it does slow the machine down. But we've still got all this light bloom stuff. And this is running a lot smoother than before. I mean, it's nowhere near 60 frames a second, but you can see it. It's still giving the effect. So if I turn that off, that one. Okay, it runs a lot quicker. So let, let's have a wander around. So if I put my torch on, the rubbish torch which doesn't really project very far. You can see how this... I really want this to become like a horror style 
games. I've been playing a, a lot of uh, Alien Isolation. So I'm not sure how well this will come out in the video. But you can see here the the torch is lighting everything up dynamically. And I've got this artificial fog going on. So uh, it makes everything fade out to black a lot quicker. So these are lit areas, so these will always light regardless of whether there's a a torch or not, but these aren't lit. So if we walk in there, let's, let's just turn the torch off. Is that off? Off. There we go. And just follow one of these around. You'll see how it. Ah. Do you see how it, it lights everything up? There we go. So you'll see everything is completely dynamic as far as lighting is concerned. What I really want to find is where one of these blocks have uh, wandered in, as they tend to into a tight corridor. So what what the actors really do the, these these blocks is ah oh, looks like that one's glitched out. What what they do is they wander around until they hit a wall and then they just rotate for a random amount of time and then try and escape uh, from the wall if, if they've got stuck in it. But it looks like that's gone a bit wrong. Um, but that's definitely showing you know things rotating around. Uh, and casting the light. I was trying to find the other ones. There are more. Ah, oh, there we go. This one. Yeah, so this will show a good example of the light being uh, dynamic in these corridors. You'll probably notice a little bit of popping. So you see back. See this, for example, here. When you go back the mesh disappears. That's really just an optimization so I'm not drawing too many polygons. Let's hope this one goes. Yeah, okay. So you'll see here that this is lighting the, the geometry from the torch. Ooh, slow down a bit there. So let, let's go back, back up here. Yeah, now that these have all gone You'll probably see the lo the uh, lighting effect a lot better. So that I mean, this will always be in shadow back here because this geometry here is blocking the light, although it is lighting the back a bit, which I would need to fix. It's just a few optimizations, well, not optimizations, dodginess in the maths to make it run faster. Uh, but you can see there that is spinning around the light and it's obscuring it. If we go a bit closer. It's trying to look through the viewfinder to see what this looks like. But yeah, it's coming out. Yeah, so let's have a wander in here. Turn the torch on. Yeah, that one's still stuck there. So yeah, th there's a, f a lot more scope to push the engine. Um, the frame rate so far seems pretty good. Uh, so one thing I might look at is maybe viewing this as a group and maybe just casting one light for the entire group so that, I mean for example with this, this really should be lighting up the corridor um, at the moment it's not doing anything uh, neither is that and these were just some sprite effects that I put on really just to show the light bloom off as you can see uh, that's red so that must be Oh, yeah, that, that was another thing I added as well. Um, the bright entrances cast this effect. So you get a nice light bloom effect coming out. Let's, let's find a block. Yeah. So that's all working. Find another one. Yeah, let's have a look. There we go, this will do. I'll turn my own light off. So you can see the, the, the bloom effect there. 
So it's, that's all doing its thing. And again, you, you've got different levels. So if I put that on its most intense, you see that really is quite bright. And if I put my own light on, never wonder. So if I could, ah, turn the oh, let's turn the light off. Sometimes I round controls. Yeah, you will see this is lighting. This is lighting the geometry. There we go. I think that's probably got stuck in the scenery, or it's having a think about where to go. It's probably got stuck. But yeah, you, I mean, you can see there that thing's spinning around and lighting up the geometry. And if I put the light on for the last time, what this will do is if you let's find a wall, yeah. So you can see there that really is. Uh, if the light's shining directly at it, you get this really nice effect. Um, yeah, I mean the 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 light angle, as you can see there, is fairly narrow, so it's not even lighting up all the... Yeah, see it's lighting up all the metal there. I mean, this isn't a shader, but it's not really lighting things to left and right very much. There, I mean, on the Dreamcast there are no shaders at all, so this is just picking up the highlights on the image. Um, so I've got an arbitrary limit that if something is lit more than 80% you know, by the light, like that, for some reason, isn't. Um, mm, yeah, it'll it'll cause bloom. Well, for some reason, it's not lighting things on the left. Or yeah, hmm. Let's see if it lights things on the right. Yeah, it does. That's probably due to the. Um, yeah, it's an optimization that I've got, and it's the way that it's drawing all the detail on the on the map but there you go um, it causes some problems with sampling and due to the width of the block because it measures everything from the top left of the block sometimes things on the left and things at the back um, don't always light properly but yeah I'll leave it there so I've waffled on for quite a long period of time uh, so thanks very much for watching and hopefully I'll have some more videos soon